Hey everyone, I am super, super excited to be reacting to the new subgroup from Super Junior, Super Junior LSS, and this is the vi music video for Suit Up, and um, we only we only reacted to the one uh, trailer, and then I saw sort of saw the other one by accident, and uh, so that's that's what happened with that one. So uh, we didn't do a reaction for that, but. Um, I am really excited for this because obviously um, with Lee Took, uh, Siwon, and Shindong, um, this is just going to be a lot of fun. Probably, definitely um, some some jokesters there, um, and so, so especially Siwon and Shindong. Um, so uh, it's just going to be entertaining, I think, um, to see this video. Um, on top of the fact that this is the first um you know full i guess release uh you know from the group um they've released some songs in you know in audio format i think but this is the first uh like real video for them so i'm really really excited for for this um no idea what this is gonna sound like except that the uh the vibes from the trailer kind of gave me like um sort of uh you know like that that newer feel you know those those uh newer songs that we heard you know like i think i and black suit and and you know just that newer sound that that we've come to um here from super junior that we all love so much right um so i'm i'm really excited to see uh to see this video and hear what this is going to sound like and i'm going to shut up and watch this now <laughs> you guys because i'm really really happy to finally uh finally be reacting to this so let's go let's jump into this uh i'm going to make my screen pretty small here for you guys um so that way it's not in the way. Is that good enough so you can still see my reaction? All right, let's do this. Here we go. We're going to watch this in full 4K. Oh my god, there's the dolls. <laughs> the cookie, they have you attached to their suit. Oh my god, Shindong. Wait, wait a minute. Hold on. I'm sorry. I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to stop it normally. Is that... Is that... Is that real look? No, no. He's too tall. He's too... He's too tall. It, doesn't this look a little like real look here? It, he just looks like he's frowning. I'm not used to seeing Rayla frown. I'm sorry. I, I know I paused it. I was like freaking out because this is hilarious. This caught me off guard, and he kind of looks like Rayla woke a bit. But but yeah, he's too he's too tall. He's standing like pretty much right next to C1. Rayla woke would be like, pretty, let's tell that guy probably. <laughs> too. I like this. Black suit. Yeah, you gotta suit up. Shit, dog. Uh oh, don't go in there. Yeah, don't go. Shit dog. LSS. This is good. I like the sound.
Oh no, dancing in the pajamas. <laughs> Pajama dancing. <laughs> Are they seriously dancing to try to avoid this weird raid that's happening? What is happening in this video? <laughs> yeah. Oh shit. No, this is good. I like this. This is really. I love the high energy. <laughs> See Wad biting his lip at the end. Why are they wearing the most ridiculous clothes in this? So they're saying suit up, but then they they. <laughs> so they're wearing they're wearing black suit. So all right, I'll be honest. Um. They're playing on the the black suit strings a little bit. Uh, you know they they are fully aware that uh, the fan base loves black suit. So just saying black suit in a song, I think gets us all a little bit. We we hear it and uh, but but it's really <laughs> I love this part. This is this. <laughs> <laughs> This is this is amazing. I love this. Um, this is what um, this is what a lot of us uh, have come to love over the years about Super Junior is um, their ability to entertain <laughs> and uh, not just um, give us good music to listen to and everything, but um, their ability to entertain. This was a decent little tune. Uh, yeah, I'll probably listen to this quite a bit. To be honest with you, I I like it. Um, it's not it's not that I don't like the subgroups from Super Junior. There's just been some subgroups over the years that didn't hit with me as much as other ones. Like D and E is like top for me. I love I love D and E. Um, you know, growing pains and all that, but I I mean I love I love all the stuff. Uh, I even liked bad when when other people um sort of had opinions about that. But um I, uh, I, you know, like over, like Roku Go was good too. And, and, you know, that was a subgroup from like forever ago. And, and I, I actually liked that too. Um, but, um, you know, I, and, and I liked M too, uh, you know, with Henry and all that. I, I loved Swing. Um, so this is just a, a, a new addition to that. This is a new subgroup that's gonna, um, <laughs> start with suit up. And I don't, I don't know how far we're going to take this. It's going to be interesting. Um, so I I feel like... <clears throat> I feel like this is like sort of kind of the joke one, right? Like this is this is the mess around one. This is the funny one. This is the... Uh, this isn't like the release, right? I could be wrong. I could be wrong. But I just know usually with Super Junior, usually there's like one funny one or one sort of kind of, you know, they're going to do this. But then like shortly after this, maybe release another one that's like a more serious one. And it can sometimes be epic, it can sometimes be heavy. And yeah, yeah, usually that's the one where that's the single that we're listening to a lot, you know, in the car and stuff like that. Not that this is this is great though. I I, I actually still really like this one too, and <laughs> uh, the video is great. We had all these these little scenes. See, I wanted to pause it right there, and I can't. There we go. Look at how much fun they're having. <laughs> so like this, we're gonna get a behind the scenes for this. I'm sure as we normally do. I might react to that because this looked. This looks like it was. Uh, do you guys remember? Um, Don't wait. Um, the behind the scenes for that was really good because, like, they just had so much fun making it. And I'm sure that 
Like Heech always there and stuff. Now here's... <laughs> This was a phenomenal scene. I love this. They just do that, and all this ridiculous uh, CGI shows up. I have a question. I heard a rumor <laughs> that Heechul was supposed to like, 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 be in this, but I didn't see him. This was good. Yeah, I liked, I liked C One's part here. No, the, so the song was excellent. They have really good parts. I'm actually thinking about listening to parts again. I kind of want to not stop it. We got to do this upload, too. I got to get this done so that way you guys can see it. The longer I sit here and do this, the more that pushes it off. Okay, so we zoom out and we get... These these dolls. Wait a minute. Did we see this? I don't think I saw that part. <laughs> so who was that? Was that Lita grabbing his, his doll? Um, I, I just, I had heard a rumor that he was, he was going to be just like, in, you know, just like there, but maybe he's not, <clears throat> or maybe I missed him. Maybe he's like hiding somewhere. Um, yeah, I kind of want to, hold on. I kind of want to hear... Well, this guy. I'm like a in the dark. That's Shindong. Why are they in a ball? <laughs> I, I love the I love the the drums here. Yeah, that beat solid. I have a question. Is this the D and E dance line? The 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 guys in the dance doing the da uh the dance line and stuff. Is, is that the same one from D and E? Just a question. I'm not sure. So they they came to life. Is that the idea? They're the dolls that came, that came to life. I'm getting some real like Inspector Gadget vibes, kind of. You know, like like um, what's his name, Mister Claw, right? Didn't he have like a giant red button and like a cat that he would pet? I don't know. I'm just getting some Inspector Gadget kind of vibes. I love the dance routine, but I want to see it from the front. They're moving around a lot there. Got that when you play the music. Rhythm 
그 시간 임시 스파라이 모여드는 시선들을 휘 쇼타임 놀 시간에 우리가 윈 <laughs> Error. It's like we're not sure with how they act. Yeah, I, that was great. No, this is so good. I, I love the. Yeah, I love this breakdown. Is that a saxophone? It sounds like a saxophone. I can't help it, it's good. These guys just look so freaking familiar. Like, I swear that's the DNA dance line. Especially this dude here with the long hair. And this, like, this dude, too. like, I don't know. Like, I just, I swear I've seen him in the DNA dance line. I could be wrong. Somebody correct me. I'm sure somebody somebody knows. <laughs> uh, this is this is good. There's there's uh, there's so many plausible moments. There's so many things to look at. Um, I actually think this is a really uh, successful video for them. I have to be honest. For a, like a first video for LSS, this is excellent. Yeah, now we can really see them all. Why do these guys look so familiar? <laughs> I was trying to see, are they real? Is it a real ball pit or is it CGI? I, it looks like a real ball pit. Knowing them it is. It's probably, they probably had several real ball pits there. Just love the, the 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 ridiculous little glasses. Okay, now, as as far as um, this is this is this is phenomenal. I love this. But as far as um, like, all right, let's look at maybe we'll look at comments a little bit. Can we look at comments yet? Oh, I don't. Did they allow comments? There's no comments. Oh yeah, there is. Okay, I'm sorry. There are there are in fact comments. My bad. All right, let me get this up here. One already eleven hundred comments. All right, now let's take a look. <clears throat> Man, some of these people, some of them, some of them got in early. It's not. It hasn't been out that long. I guess it's just saying that. Oh, yeah, maybe different time zones. Maybe that's why. Maybe messing it up a little bit. I'm not sure. I don't know. I'm crying. I just know I uh, really love this song. Uh, Talented Chin Dong is the one who directed this music video. So he did direct it. I had thought that I even said that in the tr um, when we reacted to the, the the trailer that I thought maybe he was going to direct this one. I'm so glad to hear that. <clears throat> uh, been a while since I watched an entire music video in one sitting as a low key K-pop fan, and I can gladly say my attention was snatched by LSS the whole time. It's so well made, funny, and unique. Not like your typical serious music videos. Hee <laughs> hee, I love it. I love C1's expressions. It's all so on point. Uh, I, this sounds like a fan. I don't know, like, it's been a while since the, it's, it's uh, an entire music video. I don't know. I, I like their comment, but I, I, going this in depth about C1, I don't know, like, I don't know how much I believe that. I feel like they watch plenty of music videos. I'm not trying to be rude, I just, just uh, you, you know, like, I, I understand, they're just, they, they want to, they want to boost the, uh, the group and everything, I get it. I can't read that, unfortunately. I wish, I wish that, like, we could read some of this stuff. 
I love how SM keeps his idols, uh, takes care of them like that, and knows how to keep fans. I will never forget you, Super Junior, as an international fan. I like this comment because it, it recognizes SM. I, I think SM actually is a good company that recognizes talent. That's kind of the point, is that a lot of companies at this point would have not let Super Junior continue this long and not given them, you know, essentially SJ label and, and you know, like all that. They wouldn't have had that, that faith like, like SM has in recognizing that talent. And that's good. That's it's good to recognize that that they've done that because then then, you know, that's that's the point is if we recognize that then uh we're we're calling it as we see it and then others others will possibly do the same thing, you know. When they recognize talent. <clears throat> Su Suju and their superior discography strikes yet again unmatched in K-pop. I agree. I agree. The combination of the three members so works well. Yeah. Um... I, I also agree. I think this was a good subgroup. When they announced that they were doing a bunch of subgroups... So, this this was announced a while back, but it just took a while to get off the ground. I think D&E actually has some stuff, too. Um, I think it's done. I, I, don't quote me on that. I just... I really think they filmed a lot of this stuff. They sent them overseas. Um... I want to say shortly after some of the um, COVID bans were coming off in some of the other countries. And so they started doing stuff there, I, th I, I, I think. Because, I, like, obviously, like, I've seen some of Dong Hae's, like, vlogs and stuff like that. So it's, it's sort of like, it's kind of obvious when he's, like, around a really nice looking area outside and he's there with Anhyuk. It's kind of obvious they're kind of they're scoping out areas for a music video. Like you can just tell. And then like, you know, like later on the area shows up and one more time or something like, you know, like when <laughs> when they did Ultra Vest and stuff like that. You know, it's the sort of thing where like, you know, they'll do their video vlogs, you know, their video logs and stuff and and they'll just be in an area and you're just like that's going to be in a video, isn't it? There's a reason they're there, you know. <laughs> Actually, for that, I think it was um, Lee Tuck and, and Rhea Wook for that one. But <laughs> I digress. Regardless, um, it, the, the idea is that, uh, you know, um, I, th I think that, that D&E &E has something already done or it's, it's being finished. And um, I think that they're just planning it, obviously, to not interfere with the release of this. Um, because D and E, D and E, I think is is a a pretty household name at this point. They they do rack in the numbers for sure. Um, you know, you know. Let's hold on. Let me let me just um, let's just do this really quick. I want to look at something. So the part of the reason I, I took the screen away is just because I knew it would play an ad. Um, so I'm not I'm not gonna like have that playing. Um, but I want to look at something. Can't see their faces. Um, all right, so I did a I did a reaction to this. Anybody that doesn't know, I I do follow those stuff as it comes out. I did react to this. You guys can check it out anytime. Um, I I love I still listen to this. I I love D and &E. um, I just was looking to see if we could see these guys' faces because I feel like I feel like I really think it's them. I I. I just think that like a lot of the time they use for the subgroups they use Oh maybe it's not. 
Nah, so, well, some of these guys do look different. Hold on. No, it's black screen. Option, option, option zero. <laughs> this was such a good video. Um, my favorite... My favorite from them, if anybody's curious. Uh, see, I was trying to confirm this, and it's just not. Uh, my favorite from DNA. Well, I'm sorry. My favorite from DNA is Growing Pig. So hold on. I'll show you this. Um, I was thinking more of my my favorite club sort of sounding one. So here, th this anybody curious? This is my favorite one from from DNA. Um, right here, um, listen to this one. Great, great song. I mean, it's got 23 million views. So, like, it's actually quite a bit for a, a subgroup for them. Um, and my next favorite is this one. Okay. Um, th this... The song is phenomenal. Like, no, I don't care who you are. The, you, this song's playing. A lot of times you're going to be tapping your foot, bobbing your head. It, it's it's hard to not just want to listen to it and watch the video. It's very entertaining. Um, I love this concept. The, the, the dance routine was just so on point. <clears throat> but, um... Anhyuk is uh, Anhyuk and uh, D, uh, Dong Han Anhyuk are the lead dancers for Super Junior, so it's it's gonna be hard not to have that <laughs> that um, solid choreography and everything. And this this really is. Um, they have an, uh, a little um, thing at the end that they do, um, you know, like a partner sort of dance, uh, and it it just flows so nicely. Um, just their chemistry is undeniable, and, um, I think that's obviously, uh, what, what did a lot of that. Um, but anybody that, that would be new to Super Junior and isn't, uh, isn't really sure, um, I, I would highly recommend checking this out. This is, this was sort of fairly recent. Um, check this out. Get get past that. See how it plays a little intro in the beginning. Get past this part. Just get past all the little because they're they're just song intros. You see how it plays. It shows you like a picture there. They're just playing like little clips from the album. So yeah, like you'll get a a, a little taste of the album too. But I would highly recommend just just skipping past and and getting to this video. Okay, um, th this was the. Um, this was basically uh, <laughs> pretty much their most epic dance performance to date. Pretty much. Um, and it was only, you know, three years ago. So just to pull that off the way they did. Yeah, if, if you ever just want to see a solid dance performance, you know, just... Like, this is it right here. Like, you're just really curious about choreography, dance choreography, or something like that, you know. Like, this is top-notch stuff right here. This is really hard to do because it takes a, a team of people to pull this type, type of thing off. You got to... <laughs> just the camera work, just just to be that disciplined to do all this stuff in, like, the the, the you know, few takes they did. You know, it's the sort of thing where... They, I don't think they did too many takes where they're just doing like whole sequences together, and then obviously they have to be able to do the entire thing. Then you can see here as a performance, which they do. Um, as you can see, they they start it just like they do in the video there, and it, it starts off very uh, epic, very ballet epic. Uh, um, and yeah, the the routine is based on ballet, but it's. It's not it does it's no it's not cheesy at all. It's not even not even a little bit. It's epic. It's awesome. Uh it's, uh the song's good too. Really really epic vibes. Uh 
the the best the best way I could describe it is imagine if you had a Disney song, like like one of the more epic ones. You know, like cause some Disney songs are pretty good. Uh, one of the more epic ones, and then you threw a little bit of a heavy sort of dance vibe to it. That's that's the best way I could describe what what that sounds like. But anyway, um, that's enough. Uh, we were we were <laughs> reacting to the LSS. I am very happy with this. Um, I I do think this is excellent, and I'm excited for um, any type of comeback stage that we get for this. I can't wait to watch it. I don't know that I'll be able to react to it. Um, People have asked me to react to comeback stages and live performances. I, I have tried this in the past. Typically what happens is with live performances, they are copyrighted by the companies where they do them. And a lot of times, what you guys have to realize is they're doing in, in Japan or um, something, you know, like a country kind of like that that has very um, scrutinized copyright laws. So what happens is uh, I'll go to do the reaction and it just immediately gets taken down. I did a really, really awesome... I thought it was an awesome reaction to... My favorite uh, Super Junior song um, ever, which is Don't Done, by the way. Uh, Don't Done and Black Suit are my favorites. Um, but I did my uh, I did a reaction to my favorite Don't Done, and and this is this is an old uh, performance. Like this is way back when they had all the all the members. Even Henry was there. It was such a cool performance, and like you could even hear their feet slamming against the stage all at the same time. Like it was, they were so on point like imagine you know 14 15 guys jumping around on a stage all doing the same choreography this really intense choreography to a, a, a heavy sounding song and there's that many of them and they're so in sync with each other you know it's like like watching 14 or 15 in sync members you know exactly you know except um i would be hard pressed to say that these guys are better dancers. I'm not trying to throw shade at a group or anything, but uh, let's be honest. It's not like in sync. You, you write home about their dance routines or anything. That's a lot of that's pretty simple stuff comparatively. Uh, so, you know, that's that's kind of where I'm at with like groups like this. Is like the stuff that we did in you know with a lot of these groups in America where we had like pop and there's dancing around and stuff. I think that's why guys kind of took it the way they did is because it kind of was watered down compared to what Super Junior and stuff can do. Like, because that's that's the that's the point. These guys are artists. You know, they go to school for this. They go to college for this. They're like, like, no, I'm serious. Like a lot of the folks that that live in this country probably don't even actually realize this, that that a lot of these guys, they go to through high school and stuff thinking they're gonna just graduate and do this and they do yeah i mean like think about the bts some of the bts members that um didn't they weren't they in the group before they graduated high school or like they just kind of knew it was gonna happen or something like that like they were in a group it wasn't it was uh pong tong boys right or something like that it wasn't actually like bts it was something like that and it started taking off, so they're like, well, we got to finish school and stuff. But that was the point, was like, they were, they're sort of getting younger, because that's the idea, is they, they're they starting to get the point that that's where a lot of uh, the youth wants to spend their time. Sort of like in America, a lot of the youth wants to grow up and become streamers, I don't know why. Um, so, you know, the, we're starting to see a lot of uh, gaming uh, classes and uh video creation classes and stuff showing up for uh campuses and stuff like that um whereas before he heck no you wouldn't see competitive gaming taught yeah that that was like when i was in i was in high school that was a joke now it's actually like taught and stuff so that's the point is like it's just getting recognized more and more and when when you know, in sync and in groups like that were were in america and coming up through it was just it was it was very the whole point was that it was easy to do the dance routines. They had to be easy to remember, easy to pull off because um they were they were just it was sort of like 
I hate to say it was kind of like fast food. Uh, uh, you know, it was it was sold to you like fast food, basically. Like they they would just they would chop all the the songs up, make them as small as possible, and and as you can see, even with Super Junior, like like um, their songs uh, don't get chopped up as much now too, because the idea is that they have more creative control than they used to. So that's the point. Is like the the more commercialized things get the worse you know the more watered down it gets and the more um closer we get to you know like just removing whole segments that would have made the song cooler or like dance routines that are simple to remember just because the idea is to get other people to dance along with them and and so instead of having complex things you just have these uh these dance routines that are very simple to pull off and and then the the artists themselves don't even really get very good at at dancing they just sort of kind of maintain whereas with super junior they're always challenging themselves they're always performing these inc like just impossible routines that nobody would ever ever dream of doing and they just keep challenging themselves and getting better and just doing it anyway and that's how you do things it's literally how you do it um i remember uh one of the first experiences i actually had with that was it was um i i was doing martial arts in in um yeah i i was a martial arts instructor as you guys know for a long time and i owned a school and everything and um so i for a while i i was doing martial arts in, in high school for for many years and I never really did it in front of anybody, but I just decided I was going to do the talent show. I, I was a senior in high school, and I was going to do the talent show, and I was like, you know what? I'm, I'm going to finally do this. I'm going to finally get up in front of people and perform my martial arts because it's the sort of thing where you, you kind of you want to bite back a little bit against the the folks that wouldn't believe that you're good at something or you know like just pick on you a little bit you, you just kind of want to prove it a little bit to, to them and yourself so you, you you do this and you you practice it and you follow through i didn't say hardly anything i tried to keep it as low-key as possible and that was the whole point was if i tell everybody everybody has all these unrealistic expectations they're going to start thinking all these things talking about it it's going to be a letdown. No matter what happens, it will be a letdown. Th this is actually a common um, uh, marketing uh, scheme that's actually used at Marvel, too. The whole point is if you tell people what the movie's going to be, uh, you're just like literally putting like fake footage and like, you know, like Endgame trailers and, or like Infinity uh, War trailers and stuff. That's the point. If you, if you put real footage in there, people are going to be like, they're going to be like this, that, and the other thing. They're going to know everything that happens. They're going to jump to conclusions. And then if something doesn't happen, they're going to be like, oh, it should have or blah, blah, blah. It's better to say nothing. It's better just to leave the mystery. And so that's what I did, too. Um, that's what Super Junior does a lot of times, too. Um, uh, they're, they're smart with their marketing too, but that's, that's what I did. Um, the first time I did this, nobody knew what to expect because like I was always the, the scrawny kid that, that kind of got picked on. And then like, yeah, I was tall, but like that, that was the point. Like everybody knew I always got picked on and, and, and I sort of kept to myself and stuff like that. And I did have friends, but like nobody expected this. No, like nobody expected it. So, so I do do the talent show and I come, I literally just come full force, jump, jumping kick across the stage. Like all these people here is Iron Maiden suddenly blaring and the curtain opens and they just hear my name announced and they're like, they're probably thinking what? And then the curtains just open and Iron Maiden just starts blaring and I just do this flying kick out into the center of the stage and just start doing really fast, like, hand strikes, kicks. Basically, I had a, a routine I, I, I threw together for the d entire duration of this Iron Maiden song. So I just did a whole bunch of stuff that I had thrown together for the duration of this Iron Maiden song. And I, I practiced it. I filmed it and watched it, made sure I perfected it. You know, sort of like what Super Junior does with a routine. And... Because I did that, because I practiced it, I didn't just wing it, I didn't fall, 
despite how shaky my legs were when I was nervous. And that's the point is like, you don't account for that. You don't account for the fact that your legs are jello because you're nervous, not because you can't do martial arts or because you don't know how to do this. You are genuinely nervous. And I guarantee you they deal with the same thing. So the whole point is to always be doing something harder and harder and harder so that that way when you get out there, there's no possible way you could be um, stage fright or anything like that because you can't, you can't afford to be. You're so focused. You're so intently focused on the performance and what you're doing. There's, no, there's absolutely no possible way you could ever fail. Because it's so difficult, you have to focus. You have to do it. And you're a pro, so you're just going to do it. That's truthfully how how a, a masterful performance is. You think about any of those performances of the years that you've watched, that this is how they do it. This is how you accomplish these things. This is why I know I can <laughs> I can be a, a, an entertainer, content creator, because I know I know how this works. Um, you know, I've I've been through this stuff. And, you know, I put on presentations and seminars and stuff like that at my, my martial arts school. Um, so, like, like you know, I've, I've gone through those motions eventually, but I'm, I'm getting off topic. The, uh, <laughs> the, the, the point is that um, it's, it's, uh, it's really impressive how they are willing to continue doing this even though they don't need to and keep challenging themselves and just... Um, well into you know like these guys are the same age as me basically some of them are even older like a year or two older than me and it's really impressive uh, to consider the fact that they keep you know getting to this age and wanting to continue doing this uh despite those things it's definitely a very motivational thing to see so I appreciate this. I uh, appreciate you guys watching this and sitting through my, my rambling and stuff like that. <laughs> Um, if, if we do a behind the scenes, um, you know, um, I said I would react to that. So we'll just take a look at that <clears throat> if they do a behind the scenes, uh, for this. And, um, as you guys know, I, I typically would, um, buy the albums as they come out. Unfortunately, I don't know that I'm going to be able to do that this time because, uh, much to the dismay of many fans not every elf is rich <laughs> and unfortunately uh i am not and so i cannot um i don't have the means to be able to just buy an album anymore so um i do have like pretty much every super junior album aside from that and like pretty much every um super junior m like that's Back there, what Ditto was sitting on top of, that's like all the pretty pretty much all M albums. I think there's a couple of like, I think there's a few normal ones in there. I think Magic's are there and This Is Love and stuff. Um, but like, like I even, that's the point. I even have the special that um, Mamacita is actually like on, on a shelf further down. And then I got This Is Love because I wanted the, I actually wanted the dance mix version of this is love because i liked the sound of the dance because they cut that section out where where um D, &D do have the the dance the little dance routine and this is love and they actually cut that section out of the song for mamacita it's not in there um so you had to get the this is love album if you wanted the dance mix version is what they called it so that's that's i got that so um that's <laughs> we're I mean, we're getting off we're just we're still talking more about uh super junior so i just wanted to let you guys know <laughs> that uh you know i do i do have plenty of stuff if you're you're curious about it you know the next time um i get on here and we get together you know i can um show you guys some of those things if if there's an album that you're specifically curious about and like let's say you wouldn't have it um and you know i do or something like that um there's a lot i i have that I could probably show you that, that you might not have ever seen. I have Don't Done. I have the original oh, Super Junior 05. I have uh, all that stuff. I have Sorry Sorry. I mean, there's not much to Sorry Sorry. But, um, you know, I mean, I have a lot of the other ones too. And, and you know, like the, 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 the box 
showcased albums too. Like that one right there that you guys can see right there is um, actually um, Play, the original um, Play that just has black suit and everything on it. And then um, when they repackaged it with uh, Lo Siento, um, I obviously had to get that was Replay. So that that one I also have, but it's it it was just like a book. Um, so I, I I have that one too, and then you know like I have various versions of Time Slip and and uh, time, wasn't it Timeless Time Slip and then Timeless so that you know they just repackage. Um, yeah, lots of repackages and stuff too. But um, yeah, because we used to do the Elf chats, and then and, you know basically I would just unbox and. Um, show you guys some albums and um, because I have a lot of the old ones and um, had a lot of them over the years. Uh, I have the uh, old and new light stick, as you can see right there. Um, right there. And uh, right there, actually right there in the middle is... Um, some Super Junior M too. <laughs> Got uh, was it um? I don't know. There, there's a few, there was a few albums. I'm trying to remember the what what's the um, the one with all the crazy hair. <laughs> the the video was the video was great though. Um, I actually like the song, Breakdown, Breakdown. Yeah, C One's in that one too. Yeah, C One's in that one. Yeah, that I I liked M. I thought M was cool. I like because I love uh, Henry's awesome. How do you not love Henry? So yeah, I liked M. Um, Breakdown was great. Swing was great. Maria. Yeah, that that's like every time I hear that, I have to repeat it. I think it's phenomenal. See, so one's such a good uh, performer that the 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 line Maria. And him standing on a chair and pointing down at the ground it just is permanently stained in my memory. <laughs> not not to mention the uh, the look at the the looks he always gives with the eyebrows. Yeah, Siwan's Siwan's funny. Yellow Siwan. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for checking this out. Um, like I said, uh, you know, we get a behind the scenes. We'll react. We're gonna get to some gaming in a bit. I just I want to get this upload uploaded. And like I said, the longer I sit here and the longer I make this, the longer it's gonna take. And <laughs> I am very sorry uh, for how long I've been sitting here rambling. But I I hope you guys enjoyed um, watching. And uh, as and I I definitely enjoyed uh, reacting. Um, suit up is is on point. Good, good, uh, very, very good, uh, first single release, I think, for Super Junior LSS. And I'm looking forward to another one. Take care. See you guys, uh, I'll see you guys soon for a, a gaming stream. And hopefully we get a behind the scenes for Suit Up.